We now know how much it is costing Ohio to bring Intel's massive semiconductor chip operation to the state. Yeah, NBC4 investigates Jamie Ostroff has been following the developments in this story since she first told us about the plan two weeks ago. Joining us now in the newsroom with the new numbers, Jamie. $1.3 billion, that is indirect cash incentives from Ohio to Intel. Department of Development Director Lydia Mahalik revealed those figures during a solo virtual press conference this afternoon. So here's how it all breaks down. First, a $600 million grant. Mahalik said that's $300 million for each manufacturing plant Intel plans to build and it is performance based. It is based on the expectation that both plants are fully built by 2025. Second, $691 million in infrastructure investments. About 100 million of that will go towards water and wastewater upgrades, 290 million for roads, and a $300 million water reclamation plan. On top of the cash incentives, Ohio is also offering a job creation a tax credit of up to $650 million over 30 years. The DeWan administration has said landing this Intel project was a competitive process, which they did not want to lose. When you look at what we're giving Intel and compare it to what we're getting in return, some may wonder if it's worth it, and the answer is yes. Intel says it is spending $20 billion over the next 10 years on this manufacturing operation in Licking County, which could be expanded in the years that follow. Jennifer?